If it was alive, it would probably have already eaten all of us right now. Yeah. Its claws are as big as like your foot. We always make fun of T-Rex because of his arms. Pretty small. I think they're like, he's like, <laughs> Sue is arguably the most famous dinosaur in the world. 42 feet, seven tons. That bone sticking off of the knee? I, I wonder what that would be. Sue is among many superlatives, the largest T-Rex known. Her bones are much more massive than other T-Rexes. And we found out why. It's because she's also the oldest T-Rex. Sue lived to the ripe old age of 28. Look, his teeth, he has bad hygiene because his teeth are rotting off. I'm Bill Simpson. I'm the collections manager of fossil vertebrates here at Field Museum. In the summer of 1997, uh, three of us from the museum went to look at Sue to decide if this was something we wanted to bid on or not. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sotheby's. We have for auction today the fossil of a Tyrannosaurus rex known as Sue. And I begin with a bid of $500,000. 5.275. Fair warning that. Eight minutes into the auction, uh, we were the proud owners of a new dinosaur. 7,600,000. Sue is the most complete T Rex, and so she is sort of the Rosetta Stone for this species. Almost. 50 scientific papers have been published using data from Sue. Uh, we've had 21 million people come see her in place here in Chicago. Sue was discovered uh, in August of 1990 by Sue Hendrickson. We call her her because her name is Sue, but in fact, we don't know the gender of this dinosaur. Occasionally, we have to clean Sue. I'm the one that does that when we get on a big scissor lift and we, we reverse the vacuum cleaner and blow the dust off of her and very carefully clean her with the brush. No, I don't talk to her. We sort of get a Sioux eye view of the world. It, it's pretty impressive to imagine what, what the world was like back when she was alive. If it came alive, it would probably turn to me, no lie. For a lot of kids, paleontology is the first science they get into. It's just going to turn to the smallest people. She's sort of our entree into the young hearts and minds. I've been involved with the Sioux Project from the very beginning of Field Museum's involvement. And this was really a once in a career opportunity. We know so much more about T-Rex now because of Sioux.